And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Yulanga, which is a game in which players have these two boats and you're moving them around to different areas. That's what you're doing. In this game, you're playing cards, moving two boats, except there are restrictions in play. And when you have these restrictions in play, you cannot follow them, and you may be forced to do nothing on your turn. Why? Let me show you. At the beginning of the game, each player gets three anchor tokens that they'll put in front of them. You're going to build a river and put these two boats on the river somewhere. You're going to draw four movement cards and one port card. And then players will take turns until the game ends. The game will end when one person's anchors are all turned over or when the last scoring token here from the middle is drawn. On a player's turn, they can play one card. Now, when you play a card, normally you're going to pick something and move it in that regard. You're going to play a movement card. So, for example, I might play this one that says move one of the boats to following the white arrow. So I can take this boat and move it from port to port following the white arrows. You see there's different ports on the board, all letters. This one says move four following the black arrows. This says move to the next port of that type, a round brown one. Uh, following those values. This rotates the boat so I can flip it over to this side so that I can move it on a future turn in a different direction. And this one here uh, that shows the ship, I can just move it the ship that many spaces. It doesn't really matter which direction I move it in. Now you'll notice some of these cards have red arrows on them. You can play these in a restriction area. When you play this card, that means from now on, each player cannot move the ships in that direction. You can also play your port card in the restriction area. So here I could say no one can go to that type of city anymore. No one can go to that type of city. If on your turn, none of your movement cards work because you cannot follow restriction, then you have to turn over one of these anchor cards. Now this will let you have a slightly bigger hand, but you're not going to gain three points for having that anchor token at the end of the game. And then you can you keep going, and, and you also discard all the restrictions at that point. If after you're done moving, let's say this ship here moves to the W, and I show that I have this in my hand, I can play this card and I get one of these scoring tokens. So the whole point is playing a card to move you to a spot to play one of these port cards. When your turn's over, you can draw a card from either deck. And so you could add more port cards if you want to to give you more spots, but that gives you fewer movement cards. And this continues, I said, until the game ends, at which point you're going to add up these, which are worth two points each, to any anchor tokens you might have left, which are worth three, and the most points is the winner. Components for the game, you'll notice these ships. It also came with these stand-up ships. I'm not using them here because they're harder to see. They're also a little harder to see when you're playing the game. You might as well use these. The only difference is when you use these, you can see the ports a little better. The, the game has, yes, you can make the river any way you want, so you can do all kinds of weird things. It recommends that you build a closed circuit, which makes sense because otherwise you're going to have to reverse the boat more often, but maybe that's what you want to do anyway. They fit together, but there's not a whole lot of life to them. The cards are okay quality. Honestly, the whole thing, the production's fine, it's just not very exciting. Now the lackluster components don't inspire a lot, but unfortunately the gameplay leaves even more to be desired. This is a frankly bad game, I think. I, I'm really struggling to see who would enjoy this. The fact is, it sounds interesting. Put restriction cards in play. But you never want to do that. Why would I ever want to put a restriction card in play? I want to score a port in my turn. So if I can't score a port, then yes, I'm going to put a restriction card in play to make it harder for you. So then it comes to me, same thing. So at the, the conclusion of this game, it just is really going to be, hey, who got lucky? That's really what it is. Hey, look, I have the card that moves me to the port. I have the port. You can't set yourself up, especially if you're playing with a lot of players. Then it's ridiculous. The more players you play, the ran it's, just, it's just random. 
move, put restrictions in play. Oh no, restrictions in play. Now I lose points. Why'd you lose points? Because other people played restrictions and I can't follow them. What? And as some people say, Tom, this is supposed to be a light game. I don't even see how people who like light games will have fun with this. Because it's it's worse, I think, than games like Candyland and Shoots and Ladders where you have no choices. This gives you the illusion that you're making choices, but at the end of the day, you're not. You simply take the best option on your turn, and if you can't do it, you randomly play a card hoping you mess up the next person because you don't know what ports are in their hand. You don't know what movement cards they have. You simply just say, I'll add another restriction to make things harder for you. And why do I want to play these restrictions sometimes when they also have ports on them and that's where I want to take the ship? And turn the ship around and then that helps the next person? It's just, ah! I don't get this one at all. This one is a huge miss. Um, the concept is neat, moving boats around and dropping stuff off at ports, but it really feels half-baked. Half-baked is actually pretty high. One-tenth baked, like here's the concept. Great, now take this box and bring me back a good game. Well, actually, let's just play a different game. I'm Tom Vassal, this is Yulanga. Can't really recommend it. Dice Tower Judgment, lucky!